Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. Something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. These are going to be general. If you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. Alrighty. Alright, what messages do we have? I almost wanted to call you Scorpio, but one more time. What messages do we have for Aquarius? Aquarius, what's going on? Ooh, temperance. Some of you are getting closer with spirit guides or becoming more aware and conscious of your ancestors' energy around you. Um, but also, you've been really patient for something, okay? Temperance talks about being patient. Strength card. Okay, so so far we have Sagittarius and Leo energy. Wow, yeah, you've been really strong through something. You have been really patient for something. You never gave up on something. Okay, also, your guides want, in your the angels and ancestors beings of love and light around you whatever you resonate with they want um permission to help you feel stronger or to heighten your abilities they want permission to help you okay you could try to do a lot of things on your own or you're not the type to ask for help but your guides judgment on the bottom your guides want permission to help you okay show me more Ten of Cups, oh my goodness. Yeah, you're manifesting something big, you're changing your timeline, you're ultimately working towards your ultimate fulfillment. Uh, fulfillment of your heart, your heart's desire, that's what I want to say. Um, yeah, your guides want to work with you on this, or they have been working with you on this. You've been patient, but you've been you've been diligent and you haven't given up on faith that you can have the life that you desire. That's what I want to say to you, okay? You're putting the work in is what I'm getting from this as well. Page of Wands. Okay, so there could be something happening in your journey that is requiring you to be brave because there's something that's fulfilling, but it could feel a little intimidating or you could just feel out of your comfort zone, um, not used to something. Some of you are on the road to becoming parents for the first time. Or having a new child. Okay, some of you might be mixing families, like blending families together. You know what I mean? Like you might be with someone that has a family and you have a family and you're coming together. You guys might be having more children together, okay? Some of you are going to be creating um, or birthing like a business for the first time. Okay, it could be more of a spiritual business. Okay, you're being asked to be brave as you move forward. Again, because not that there's anything that's going to scare you, but there's something that might feel intimidating to you. Some of you might be getting a degree, okay, that you've been working really hard for, or 
it's taken you many years to get this degree, but you never gave up on it. Okay, that's not for everyone, obviously. All right, show me more messages, please. the full yeah definitely there's a lot um i want to say there's a lot of talk about <laughs> there's a lot of talk about your faith and how strong you are that's how, how i want to say it like through um pretty difficult times it looks like you still believed that's what i'm taking from these cards um you followed your intuition with something as well it, yeah you you had faith in something you never gave up on it Some of you may have gone through quite the rough time, but you were stronger than the burdens that you were put through or that were put on you, is how I want to say it. The Aquarius, this is your card, the Fool. You have really strong intuition. There's something where there's something where you could you get discouraged from time to time and your guides want you to ask them for help or give them permission to assist you. A lot of you have done a lot of healing and personal work, personal development work. You could have been doing it through some difficult times or you were going through some pretty um, difficult challenges. The things that you were put through were there to assist you with those personal developments even though they were difficult. Two of Cups. Yeah, some of you are definitely coming together with a person and creating something with that person. Um, some of you are in full alignment. Mo okay, that's what this is this that's what this is telling you. The Two of Cups coming out after the Ten of Cups. You guys are in full alignment with this Ten of Cups energy. Something that's really fulfilling to you that you've been trying to manifest, trying to create. Whether it be a physical thing, an energy, or just like a lifestyle that you're trying to, you know, a, a timeline, a reality that you're trying to manifest and experience. You're in alignment with this. You're about to be in alignment with this Ten of Cups energy. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you have all the knowledge. <laughs> Like, you are prepared for this new beginning. Like, even though this is something that you might be new to or something, there might be challenges that come up or things that make you nervous coming out of your comfort zone with something, you have all the knowledge that you need. Like, you have all the information, you have all the power to execute whatever is needing to be executed. I'm hearing um, a phrase from another tarot reader, uh, the ghetto nun, the plan, plot, strategize, that's what I'm getting from this, I'm hearing plan, plot, strategize, okay, but in the nun's voice, <laughs> okay, show me more. If you watch the Ghetto Nun, you should know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> King of Wands. Ooh, okay. 
some of you went through a very difficult um, relationship in your past. It could have it could have ended recently, or you could still be dealing with this person, but you dealt with this person for a while. Like this is someone who was in your life for a while. This person could have been in your life for ten years or more. Um, some of you, okay, it could be a Leo. Some of you were dealing with like a narcissistic masculine energy or a toxic karmic masculine energy. Okay. Oh, yeah. So some of, yeah, your ancestors helped you through this. Or they were with you through this. Some of you, literally, it took you forever to shake this karmic like out of your life or out of your energy. This person messed with your mind. That's how they kept it going or kept you strung along or kept you still in it is they, they did something with mind games. Okay, this person could have been not faithful, could have had an issue with commitment. Or honesty okay they could have been they could have had a, a lot of issues with lying okay some of you might be meeting a new Leo okay <laughs> okay uh, King of Cups doesn't have to be a Leo they could have Leo somewhere in their birth chart some of you might be meeting a new person, a new masculine energy. Um, this one is about love. That's what I want to say. This one is committed. Th okay, this one. This one. <laughs> this person is committed, whether they're male or female. It's a masculine energy. They are committed. Um, their focus is on a love relationship or they... Having a loving relationship is important to them. That's what I want to say. Some of you, as you finally remove this energy of this past narcissist, this past karmic, from your energy, you are introduced with this person or this person comes into alignment with you, comes into your situation, your reality. Okay, some of you feel as though you're not ready for this person or like when they first come in, yeah, there's a, like confusion or there's walls up, you're guarded when this person comes in. Wow, this person was completely chosen by <laughs> your guides, your, your spirit team, whatever it is, whatever you resonate with. This person was completely chosen by them. Look at the feet. This person could remind you of uh, an ancestor that you had or, or someone that has passed or that your ancestor approves. Look at their feet. They're going in the same direction. <laughs> this person is approved by your spirit team. Oh, my throat just did something weird. Wow, this person is divine. This person is powerful. This person is a powerful manifester. They can be really spiritual. Very powerful person. Okay. I just heard hand picked. <laughs> okay. Eight of Pentacles. You guys have something to work on together. Um, also, you're coming into alignment with your preferred work life, work style, or what you do and spend your time doing and how you bring finances, money, abundance, um, and physical things into your reality, you're becoming, you're more, you're becoming more in alignment with your preferred work style. Okay. So this could mean like for some of you, this could mean like you finally 
found the perfect scenario so that you can work from home or you found the right working environment that you know the energy is good or something like it's, it's your preferred work style you want to work less you want to work whenever you want there's something like something about your work life that you're coming into alignment with and it's preferred to you okay it could be something that you specifically asked for it could have been something could even be something that you weren't even fully consciously aware that you desired it okay preferred work life okay um it's time to get to work that's, that's what i just heard so you're coming into alignment with something that's you're coming into alignment with a timeline that's leading you to this ten of cups energy and i feel like you you probably can kind of sense that ten of cups energy or that you're destined for ten of cups fulfillment because you never lost faith on the fact that even what, with what you were going through you knew that you were meant to be happy or you still strived for happiness you still kept trying to move in a more um, high vibrational direction even though you were going through things or things were being thrown at you you're coming into alignment and getting ready to start putting energy into something something new to you it's like you're leveling up you're going to the next step some of you may be getting some sort of promotion. Some of you, you're coming in, you're going into a relationship where you guys are going to be transmuting a lot of things between the two of you. You guys are going to be doing a lot of work between the two of you. A lot of, like, again, what I was talking about earlier, personal developments, some form of spiritual work together. You're, get, you're, you're being given the opportunity to work on something even further. Okay. Show me more. More for Aquarius. The star at the end here, more your energy, Aquarius energy. You're healing and you're gonna be healing more and more and more. You're not even just healing this lifetime, you're healing multiple lifetimes. This person is a part of um, uh, your soul family, like that you have a soul contract with this person for you guys to be working on things together or you guys are unveiling things for one, one another. You guys are, between the two of you guys are gonna be working a lot on your I'll just say your energy really lots of healing you're prepared for this you have you've been prepared for this like you have like all your experiences prior to this changing moment in your life or not it's not even going to be a moment it's going to feel like it's something's gradually changing for you that's what i'm getting rather than it just being suddenly everything's changed it's more of a gradual change um i i feel like you're fully prepared like all the tools that you need and all the lessons that you need to succeed in this timeline that you're going into, you've been given them. Like you're ready to heal fully to the next level. Like you're ready to heal to the next level. You're ready to um, start tackling the next list of things. That's how I want to word it. Oh goodness, I've used this deck the whole time. Interesting. Yeah, you're going to be getting more of what you want more of what you want more of what you desire like truly desire okay so what can Aquarius look forward to or be excited about what can Aquarius look forward to justice Libra energy Libra season justice getting exactly what you deserve Feeling more balanced, feeling more clear. Justice, karmic justice. B what you're destined to receive. Beautiful, okay. Let's see if we can get a message from this deck for you. Before I end the reading.
messages for Aquarius. What does meth what does message need to hear? What does Aquarius need to hear? Good old Mercury retrograde. What does Aquarius need to hear for their highest good? Appreciate all you have. Let go of how you think your life should be and celebrate all that it is. Needing nothing attracts everything. Okay. And we have, I'm not the mind. I'm not the body. I am spirit. I am light. I fall to rise. I am not the emotion. I am not the thought. Okay. Let's see if we get some more. More messages for Aquarius. Aquarius, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm like literally hearing like hearing someone call your name. Aquarius. Give freely, support others, give expecting nothing in return. Okay. All right, that's it. Oh, three cards. Okay. Free to fly. The past is behind you. No road takes you back. Give thanks for all you've learned and spread your wings. Yeah, you're moving on to a new cycle. Create your joy, smile, and laugh. You deserve to be happy for no reason. Take time to do what feels good. And communicate honestly and directly. Don't assume. Set your boundaries. Remember, it's okay to just say no. So the new relationship that you're going to be going into, you're going to realize a lot about yourself. You're also going to realize a lot of things that you may have taken from a past relationship or things that you may subconsciously still have lingering on you from a past relationship. Those things are going to be exposed to you. Okay, which is important. So you can realize what the subconscious things are going on, what things are going what things are going on like underneath the surface that are ultimately creating your reality and the world around you. So in situations that you're put in. So thank you so much, Aquarius. I wish, um, I hope that if this reading, <laughs> I hope that if this reading resonated, <laughs> uh, provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm so spacey right now. It's so weird. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.